Hello, my name is Patrick Pettit, and I'm here at our Print Media Center here in Kennesaw, Georgia. And I'd like to talk a little bit more about our multi-loader cassette. And what we're taking a look at is one of our analog rollers that's in one of the cassette positions. So again, we have four cassette positions, and in this position, I'm able to load each individual analog roller, whether it's blister pack, UV coating, aqueous coating, we can have our rollers ready to go here with the multi-loader. What I like also about the multi-loader is that it's easy for loading, where we have a quick lock mechanism here on each side of our bearings. So we can load the, the roller in very efficiently and safely. Also, the other advantage that we have is once we lock this in, is that it allows me an opportunity to uh, go ahead and I can do some maintenance on this roller as well. But what I really want to key on is the quick changing ability we have with this multi-loader. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get access to the multi-loader by lifting up this door. By lifting up the door, now I have access to the multi-loader. And what I want to do is I want to rotate the multi-loader to the open position. So I start by unlocking the holding device. Also then, I can drop our built-in lifting device. But prior to that, I also have locking devices, one on our drive side here. So this is one locking device. You have a good look at the lifting device and the journal of our analog roller. Then if I come over here to the drive side, I also have a locking device and then an additional locking tab in the back. So I have the T-handle and I'm gonna unlock each side of the analog roller. Okay, from there, I'm gonna slide the roller out of the journal and then I'm gonna complete lowering the lifting device. So now we have the lifting device locked into the side of the uh, journal shaft. And then I'm going to go ahead and lift the roller. And then we can lock it in. And that way I can stow the lifting device And then from this point now, we can rotate the multi-loader to the next position. Lower the lifting device. And secure it onto that shaft of the journal. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the roller from its compartment. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lower this roller down. There's a keyway on the drive side, and I'm just gonna line up the keyway with that journal, and then slide it over. And once it's in, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the lifting device. And now we're gonna stow the lifting device. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and secure the locking device on either side like so. The last step now is to secure the analog roller into the journals with our locking, three locking points. So we have a locking point here. On the dry side, I have another locking point here. And then on the back side, a tab. And then once that's in, I can go ahead and close up our multi-loader cassettes. And at this point now, what I can do is I can engage the uh, chamber doctor blade in the back, back here. So I have a button on the back side. I'll engage that chamber doctor blade and begin circulating the coating. So I hope that gives you a little better idea of how our multi-loader cassette system works on the Speedmaster XL106. Again, we thank you for your time and hope you found this interesting. Thank you.